In this integrated math one practice test for 10 ready, question number 26, we are in subpart 3, which is calculator approved, and we may use one here, not necessarily. Uh, a rock is thrown from a cliff into a ravine, which is like the first line of a murder mystery only read by someone like Fred Flintstone or something. The function h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 192t plus 2560 describes the height. Now that's important. That's a key part of this question. It's telling you, uh, now if you think about how functions are written, this part here is generally your input, so you may think of that as your x. And if we graph it, that's definitely the way you want to think about it. h of t as an idea is y. So what it's saying is, when you substitute your value for t, or x, quote unquote, um, into your equation, whatever answer that you get, that's the height of that rock at any time. They want to know what is the height of the rock in feet, eight seconds after it's thrown. And what you'll find out, and what I didn't actually expect it to happen, uh, I just assumed they'd kind of just drop it off. But for some reason, they must have taken, I don't know, like a t-shirt launcher or something and just ripped that thing into the air before it went down. Someone was really mad at that rock. Um, crime of passion and the murder mystery, I suppose. Anyway, let's look at some ways that we can do it. One of the ways we'll do is substitution, and then I'll, I'll want to start out with graphing, just because uh, I tend to think of math as a graphical, uh, graphic novel in this case, maybe, murder mystery. It's all connected. Anyway, I want to change my window around. Um, I had originally a y max value here, but I've since graphed it a little bit, and I'm going to raise that up a lot. Let's maybe get 5,000. That way you'll get a good visual. You can't go back in time and the rock is lower or higher. And again, this is a negative quadratic, so it's going to look like this eventually. But we only need to really worry about the part where it, you know, where it's launched into the air or whatever, it's thrown off the cliff. So I don't really care what happens before the time, so I'm going to make my x minimum 0. My y minimum is negative 5. I don't think it's going to run underground, ground, but I put it there anyway. So I'm ready to graph. I went ahead and typed it in so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch me type. That's weird. So let's graph this thing. So really in the first eight seconds, although 5,000 is a considerable amount to go from here to here, it changes not a ton. I mean, it's not dropping a, th you know, a bunch of thousands up or down. Uh, but I can actually find the value of it at any time. So hit second and go into trace and click value. So as I said, when you input your x value, you get your y and that tells your height. So I'm going to say at eight seconds. So you can see down there, it tells me it's 3,072. And that's your answer, 3,072. Uh, 3, and it gives me my height in feet, so I'm going to put FT there because units matter. I mean, really, they do. It's a big deal. So put that in there. I doubt they'll count off. Or they don't own the key, but it's a good idea. Just It's just good practice. What's the other side of this story? Well, you don't have to graph it if you don't want, or maybe your calculator's not very good, or if you want to do it by hand for whatever reason, that's fine. Like I said, you can substitute it in. So negative 16, just make sure that you have all your parentheses in a nice place to make that work. You are watching me type now. How annoying is that? And there it is, 3,072 feet. So there's a couple good ways that you can have whatever kind of floats your boat. It's a very, it's a choice how you'd rather do it. I like to graph it just so I can see if the answer makes any sense. And it actually gave me a much better feel for whether the answer was possible when I could see the graph as opposed to uh, if I just substitute it in. I just accept that that makes sense and write it down. So whatever you want to do, it's up to you.